you went to a lot of uh, of work to create these ruses, mm -hmm. and it sounds to me like you had a series of of ruses that you had kind of in your hip pocket mm -hmm. that you would you would bring out and you would use to make you appear normal to some of these women. Mm -hmm. Um, and there had to be a way of you deciding, even though it was just like that, uh, which ruse would work with which woman. I mean, you had to have a way of feeling them out and um, uh, saying, I think ruse number one, two, three will work with this woman. How, how, tell me, explain that process to me. Well, one of them was, as you, as I, they would, a uh, woman would get in the car. She's already in she's the car? She's in the car. Let's say she's always in the car, We're driving down the road, and she first she wants to see my ID. So I whip out my ID, and with my ID would be my, I'd put my finger over my driver's license to hide my name. Mm -hmm. But on the opposite side was um, pictures. And a picture of my son, And then she to see my son, and they would know I was a probably normal person. But I you were using, really using your son as part of your ruse. Because only uh, at the time I didn't want to picture my ex-wife there, so I had to have a picture of my son. Sure, you had to you, you had to make it sound good. I had a driver's license on one side, my ID, and then when I showed my and then the next picture next picture was with my son, so that was. And uh, in the vehicle, I had some, uh, always had some, not always, but had some of my son's stuff in there, you know, um, that he left in there, or some little Star Wars or something like that, you know, so there was, it was uh, like a family setting. In your, every, in your vehicle? Yeah, so every time I opened up my wallet, there would be a picture of my son on one side, uh, you know, behind my ID, here's my ID, I hide my name, mm -hmm. flip it over, and there's my ID, and uh, my son's picture on the back side, and they'd see that, and that would uh, lower any big defenses, mm -hmm. and, you know, kids' as toys, eight-year-old toys on the, on the dash. Was, the only thing that would be better than that would be to have your son in the car with you. That that would be a, a, a incredible ruse. Uh, that happened once. What happened? Uh, I, it was uh, July 18th. I think it was my brother's birthday. That weekend, I picked up uh, a woman on back back highway, and Matthew was next to me in the seat, and she hopped in, and and I took her over to. Uh, in the South South Airport area, and um, took her uh, into an area, and uh, my son was there, and I I killed her. I'm real sure my son didn't see it, but that only happened one time. But that was a pretty good, pretty good ruse. Mm hmm. So why didn't you do it again? Well, well for one thing, the, um, I didn't want my son to see it, see that happen again, because I was, I was uh, that's when I was really um, killing a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing, it never came to an opportunity to, again to do it. I didn't, I mean, uh, I had him in my truck uh, one time he was sleeping and I picked up another prostitute that I didn't date her.